First tonight, the Amish community near Bern is mourning after an 11 year old boy was shot and killed by one of his siblings. ABC 21's Corinne Rose talked with people in Adams County today about that tragedy and gun safety. This was a 100% preventable. Sergeant Troy Habegger from the Adams County Sheriff's Department says the shooting that killed an Amish boy outside Bern is a tough one. I do have a daughter. Um, so it, it does, it, it really hits home whenever something like this happens. Investigators say Wednesday afternoon, 11 year old Sam Gerard was shot once in the torso by a sibling who's also a minor. The boy died before help could get there. You could tell it was very hard on the family, the entire family. There was huge amount of community support there as it was still being investigated. Um, it, it hit the whole community, I believe. It's not clear whether that sibling is older or younger than Sam or why they were handling what's believed to be a long gun, not a handgun. What is clear, Sergeant Hobegger says, is that gun owners need to ensure that firearms are kept secured and well out of reach of children. It is very important to protect yourself, protect your home, um, have a safe beside your bed, have it actually in a safe where you can have access to it, only you have access to it. Um, just make sure it's it's in a secure location to where, where kids cannot get to it. He says you should also teach children never to point a gun at anything they don't intend to shoot. People in Bern are devastated by the boy's death and say gun safety is key to preventing a tragedy like this. Especially around here in a rural community, there's a lot of hunters. Um, a lot of people value, you know, the right to own guns, and, and I feel like that is the right. But yes, if there's children in the home, they need to be locked up. It needs to be safe. I think if you're going to have them in the home, they just definitely need to be locked up and with a key that is not accessible to young children. So hide the key somewhere or put it within where they can't reach, something like that. The Adams County Sheriff's Department is still investigating the shooting. Corinne Rose, ABC 21. And we should also say the Adams County Sheriff says the name of the sibling who shot Sam Gerard will not be released.